Hi reception. So as this week we have been learning all about pirates, I thought that we would start with a little pirate craft activity. Now, in this activity, we are going to be making a porthole, which is the little windows that you can see on a pirate ship. For this activity, you will need two paper plates, some glue, a piece of paper, and a straw, some scissors, and a sellotape. Now, the first thing you're going to need to do is, on the inside of one of the plates, is draw a sky scene. So for my sky scene, I've got clouds, birds, and the sunshine. That's one of the plates. Now with the other plate, on the back, I would like you to colour it whatever colour you would like. You could draw some bolts on there as well. But this is a tricky bit, and you might need a little bit of help for this. I want you to cut the middle of your plate out. Then, what you're going to do, I've luckily got some blue paper for my C, but what you could do, if you don't have blue paper, you can just colour it in blue, that'll be fine. Then, I'm going to stick it to the inside of my plate. I'm going to use my glue to do that. I'm just going to put some glue all around the edge, just to make sure it sticks. There we go, I think that's probably enough. Let me stick that on. There we go. So as you can see, when you put the other plate behind it, you've got the sea and the sky looking out from your porthole. Now, I want something in the distance. Now, I've already drawn my pirate ship and sellotaped it to a straw as you can see. Then what I am going to do is I'm going to put it inside my plate, just place it there like that, put the other one on top and then I'm going to sellotape all around the edge of the plates just to sellotape them together but leaving a little gap for me to be able to move the straw so I can move the boat in the distance. So let me just sellotape all the way around. There we go. Make sure that it doesn't become unstuck. And then the last piece, making sure that I've got a little gap where my straw is. So there you go, you've got your porthole where you can see another pirate ship in the distance. Why not give that pirate craft a go? And we would love to see how you got on. So if you can ask your mummies and daddies to send us pictures of what you make to our admin email address, we would love to see it. So we're going to take a little look at patterns now. And I'm going to need your help for this. So take a closer look. So I'm going to start off with blue. Then red then blue, then red. What will come next in my pattern? Hmm. If you said it was blue, you're absolutely right. Next in my pattern is blue. What will come next? Have a little think. You're absolutely right, it's red. 
Now, I know lots of you would have found that a little bit easy. So I'm going to make it just a bit harder for you guys. Let's see how you get on with this pattern. This pattern is going to be using three different colours. First of all, I'm going to have purple. Purple triangle. Then I'm going to have a green triangle. Next is going to be a red triangle. Then I'm going to have purple again. Then green. What colour comes next in my sequence? So let's just recap it. Purple, green, red. Purple, green. Have a think. It is red. Fantastic. Now this time, I'm just going to use two colours, but it's going to be a slightly different pattern. So the two colours I'm going to use are blue and green. So I'm going to start off with a blue swell, another blue swell, and then a green swell. Two blue swells again, then a green one. What comes next? Let's have a look at the pattern so far. Blue, blue, green. Blue, blue, green. You're right. Next, we need two blues and then a green. Fantastic. Thank you for all of your help. Now, we are going to use all of that knowledge that we've just learned about patterns to make our very own pirate telescope because no pirate is complete without its telescope. Now, I've got three colours here and we are going to make a pattern on our telescope to decorate it. So I'm going to start with pink. I'm going to put a bit of glue on either end just to secure it. I'm going to wrap it around. There we go. Then I'm going to put blue. Again, a little bit of glue on either end. Put it on, wrap it around and secure it. Okay. Next up, we're going to have orange. Put it on, wrap it around. Then we've got pink again. Wrap it around. Now for the tube, you could use any type of tube. You could use a kitchen roll tube. Oh, let me see what's next. I'm gonna put blue next. So pink, blue, orange, pink, blue. You could use a roll from the inside of wrapping paper. If you want to make it a little bit shorter, you can cut it down. There we go. You can maybe even use a Pringles tube if you cut the end off. So we've got pink, blue, orange, pink, blue, orange, pink next. Bit of glue. Blue next. And then finally, the orange just to complete it. And I, then I will show you the finished product. There 
There we go. And there is my finished pirate telescope with a beautiful pattern. There we go. Right, I hope you get to try out some of these crafts. Have a lovely week. See you soon.